Hey builders, Daniel from Toybox here, and today we're making the play pack catapults and trebuchets. Let's get started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. trebu what? From French and often pronounced trebuchet is just a type of catapult with a long arm that launches a projectile. It was a powerful siege engine back in the day that was used to break down walls and storm castle doors. It works by placing a counterweight in the basket and then using a long arm to launch the projectile. Now, say the arm is 15 meter, wait a minute, this isn't school. Let's get to building. To begin, you should have already received your play pack in the mail. Now, let's see what's inside. Your play pack will include dowels, bouncy balls, ball bearings, rubber bands, felt sheets, glue stick, and sticker sheets. If you need to know what's included, check the insert. Now for the fun part. Let's start designing your catapults in the creator space. Click on create a catapult and then let's get started. From there, you have several different customizable options to choose from. Adjust the launch angle and width of your catapult to whatever you like. Maybe you're going for launch distance. Hmm, what would work best? Oh, and feel free to change the color too. Next, let's get rolling with some wheels. We've got all kinds of unique creations to choose from. Pick your favorite. Next is the launcher. This is what sends your projectile flying. Have fun with this one. Mint? Blueberry? Hmm, I'll go grape. Finally, accessorize. This gets you rolling with style. Give your catapult a name and start printing. It's that easy. Once you've got all your pieces, we can start building. Let's start with some sticker customization. Use the sticker sheets to add extra flair to your creations. Some stickers, like for the wheels, you'll want to use before building. Others you can use after. It's up to you. Now, let me show you how to build your catapult. First, attach the wheels. Insert dowels into the catapult base. Next, add the wheels and then slide on the wheel caps. Be careful, sometimes the wheel caps can be a little tight. Do this for the other side. Next, insert a dowel through the base and the catapult arm. Slide on the rod caps to keep the dowel in place. Next, place a dowel through the top holes and attach with the last two caps. Next, let's add the rubber band. This is what creates tension and will allow your catapult to launch a projectile. The rubber band choice is up to you. Different rubber bands will create different tension. Try some out, see what works best. Additionally, you can adjust the tension by lowering or raising the rubber band on the catapult arm, as shown here. Up next, this is how you build the trebuchet. First, attach the two arm pieces together. Next, you're gonna attach the wheels just like with the catapult. Insert the dowel, add the wheels, and put on a wheel cap. Do this for all four wheels. Next, insert a dowel through the top holes and through the middle hole of the trebuchet arm. Then add the rod caps. Next, we need to attach the basket that holds the counterweights. Insert a dowel through the basket and through the end of the trebuchet arm, as shown here. Then add the last two rod caps to the dowel.
Finally, add ball bearings to the basket. The more weight you add, the further a projectile will be launched. And as a reminder, never launch the ball bearings. Only use them for counterweights. Oh, and don't forget about the ballista. That's where the bouncy balls come in. Anyway, here's how to build it. First, slide the launcher onto the base. Next, attach the wheels, just like with the catapult and trebuchet. Insert the dowels, attach the wheels, and then add the wheel caps. Next, take the two smallest rubber bands that are the same and attach them around the hooks of the ballista. And that's it. Grab your bouncy ball and get to launching. Finally, use felt and glue to make your own custom flags. Get creative or use a template to cut your flags. When using scissors, make sure to have adult supervision, especially if you're under 12. When using the glue for the first time, you'll need to take off the cap and poke a hole to let the glue out. A paper clip works well. What type of flag will you make? And of course, don't forget to print out a flag stand so you can fly your flag. As you can see, the possibilities are endless. I can't wait to see what you make with your catapults and trebuchets play pack.